When using browser on an Android device to access certain web apps like Mattermost, sometimes there are form factors uh, or, or user environments where things just don't work. And what we normally do is ask people, uh, let's say on their, on their laptops, to open up DevTools, you know, save off the logs. Uh, that's much more difficult on a mobile device. Getting to DevTools is nearly impossible unless you start hooking up USB cords and uh, setting up things like that, which uh, it obviously won't work in the real world. So what do we do about that? Uh, what I want to show you in this video is some new tooling that I've just added to browser version 0 0.48. And uh, let's let's go ahead and get that rolling. I've got a, a, a connection here to my own Android, and I'm going to use a power mirror to mirror the screen. The, the screen mirroring is now up. Let's show you what it looks like uh, using Brave on Android to access our Mattermost uh, stack. So after Mattermost Cloud. Cloud City, bring it up. I do not have problems. Uh, so what you're going to see here now is, is, is what normal looks like. So in the background, you can see Chrome looking at Mattermost on my laptop. And, and here in this little middle, middle screen is screen mirroring of my real Android accessing it uh, over Brave. So that's what things look like when everything's working normally. Let's bring up a new tab. And instead of hitting the URL for for the uh, for the browser app uh, as it is normally done, let's add a URL parm of eruta equals true. This time, when the app starts coming up, what the browser stack has done is inject more software into the stream. You can see this this little uh, gear cog uh, down in the in the, the lower right corner. That is the new debugging tools. I can move this, this, this uh, tool button anywhere I want on the screen if it was hiding something that was in the web app. Uh, and, and that will be remembered the next time we come in. If I click that, then the tooling opens up. And much like DevTools in, in, in uh, you know, I'll say native Chrome or native, native Brave, we are uh, creating a virtual DOM that lays inside the, the, the web app that looks like DevTools. All of the console logging that you're used to seeing in, in DevTools is now in this browser-owned DevTool, if you will. So this allows us to, uh, uh, just through a, you know, a simple click, uh, to allow the user to get into the console logs. There are other things in here that could be interesting for, for troubleshooting as well, like you know, what, it, what is the actual um, URL that is involved here, what's the user agent, different things like that. And there's other settings that you can... Uh, you can move around and, and play with uh, as, a, as a user on the client side. Clicking individual things and copying to, to uh, you can see the copied indicator there, uh, is working fine. Copying the entirety of the log to the clipboard is not, is not uh, in the current release, but that's coming. And it's at that point that uh, you know, someone on their Android phone could do that, copy the, copy the log, and then send it back to, uh, to NetFoundry for, for troubleshooting. This is all running right now in our production um, Mattermost browser stack. So if you want to give this a try, feel free to do so. If you do give it a try and you have any questions, let me know. We will see you on the next video. Thanks.